Hello everyone and uh, welcome back to my channel. So in this video we're gonna go through uh, how to create the windows. Um, the only thing that I would say you have to really think about <clears throat> is the um, the browser structure or the component structure. So if you're gonna take a look at the how the way I did it right here, as you can see we have the uh, say fuselage and then we have the windows. Now I didn't do anything special. Um, all the windows are basically just a, a bodies a, of the same component, and it's completely up to you if you wanna create them separately or just wanna do it like this. Okay, it's again it depends on the end goal. If you're gonna print it or you're just doing it for fun or if you're gonna really gonna build it and so on. Uh, that's going to determine how you need to structure and build your component. And so I'm going to show you this one. Uh, the other way is you already know. I mean, um, if you want to create separate components, so you're just going to do the steps that I'm going to show you and just do it for each window separately. Or you can also, for example, on this side, then you can just mirror the components to the other side. <clears throat> so it's completely up to you. But the basics, everything, it's quite simple. So uh, let's take a look at uh, what I did. So I'm just gonna uh, activate the component here. And um, we can see here that it's, you see, it's very, very, very simple, pretty much straightforward. So I'm just gonna, whoop, gonna go all the way back. Um, I don't think it's gonna be necessary to show you how to do the sketch. You already know how to do the sketch, it's pretty basic. We already did it many times before. So let's open it. And so what I did basically is um, turn on the side view, as you can see here, the side canvas. And we draw on this plane, of course. We're gonna open and yeah, so just like before, uh, we're just gonna go through, you know, create the sketches, the geometry, and um, yeah, just like that. Very simple, nothing special. Uh, fillets, again, the usual. We're gonna do it later on. We're gonna use the fillets um, command instead. So uh, yeah, and when we are done with this, uh, just click the stop. We can just turn this one off. Um, so the next step is basically just go back to the fuselage because we're now we're going to cut. You can either start with the fuselage or start with the door, okay? Because they're two separate components. And because we wanna, we need to cut also, as you can see here, we need to cut the um, the the window from the from the uh, um, sorry from the components from the body, okay? As you can see here. So what we did is, let's open it, edit feature. Yeah, so I just selected the door itself and then I said, okay, the splitting tool, it's gonna be this sketch and then I cut the piece out of it, okay? And then I worked on the um, fillets and I did all the fillets at the same time. You cannot just start with the fillets of the windows and then the door, it's completely up to you, but you can see here I have eight edges so I did all of them at the same time. And while I was doing it, if you're gonna take a look at the bodies here, you see, um, let's move on over here. Then I went back to the window. And this is where you can see the first one here. Okay, you can see the first uh, patch body here, right here. Then of course I stitched it and turned it into a real body okay and then I did the same for all the others then I went back to the uh, fuselage because now we are going to cut the fuselage, the fuselage itself and let's turn it back on okay because we have some cuts over here here we go and because the, the bodies are basically, uh, some of them probably maybe here or something like that. Yeah, so don't worry. So it's basically right here. So I did, uh, this is the cut. Again, we open it. So you can see I selected the uh, fuselage and then selected our sketch here. And then we created those two cuts on the side. 
um, when I finished with them, uh, then I went back to a uh, window and exactly the same process as before. We are going to, okay, I moved a little bit too much uh, forward. So you can see, I just, you know, uh, created, I went back to the patch environment and then went the created offset, each of them separately. So I have these two bodies here and then I stitch them, stitch one, stitch the other one. So now I have two real bodies. And then I uh, did some uh, fillets and I can also see here by the color uh, this command where it's belong to. So you can see by the color here, it's actually belong to the Fugula. So there is a step here that I've already, that I created. It's these fillets and you can see them right here. Okay. And then uh, I think I moved back and yeah, finished the, the other one. There is another um, window over here, exactly the same way. So I'm on the fuselage and I'm going to do a cut, as you can see here. So don't worry about this side and we're not going to cut this one, okay? Because we are activated the fuselage and we selected this, um, the fuselage uh, body. Exactly the same process, then went back to the window and yeah went to the patch environment created an offset stitched it and then created the fillet again so it's similar to all the others okay so as you can see it's very straightforward and you can also see the structure i'm using the um the folders inside the bodies it's very easy to sh to you know just put everything that you don't need inside okay and you don't need to delete them so they're not bother me that they are there. So this is my uh, fuselage body and all the all the rest of the windows. They're just right here. Sketch, we can just turn it off. And if you go all the way back, now you can see all the windows that we have just created. And it's just a straight where, you know, windows, nothing special. Uh, we didn't go to any... Um, you know special uh, details on the windows and um, the door here there is one body that we need to not the door it's not this one but it's actually telling me that there is one uh, body that I need to turn off it's this one yeah okay so um, fuselage door and windows and so this is how it looks very simple straightforward now if you still have any kind of any issues questions and so on just remember to contact me on a uh, on this forum okay the links in the description and i'm gonna do uh, everything i can to help you and uh, now the next video it's gonna be very very interesting so you really uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon because we're going to move on now and work on the uh, vertical stabilizer and the rudder, okay? As you can see here, it looks really, really, really nice, perfect. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this and we're going to create also an airfoil and we're gonna use also a, um, a plugin and I'm gonna show you how to install it or maybe you already know how to install plugins, it's very simple but how to use it and it's very very good one very special one and um, yeah so I'm really looking forward to making this video so uh, keep an eye on and as I said before subscribe hit the bell icon and you're gonna get a notification uh, when their video is coming out maybe this uh, this weekend or even before okay let's see how busy I'm gonna be so um, yeah until then uh, have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.